Hi, this is Carl Leswing, and this is the final project for CS8803 Reinforcement Learning. So what we're trying to do here is to reprodu reproduce research from a paper by Sutton et al. learning to predict by the methods of temporal difference learning. This was the first paper to introduce the temporal difference learning algorithm. Temporal difference learning algorithm is a way to estimate values at nodes in a Markov decision process. What specifically we are trying to do is to reproduce figures 3, 4, and 5. So the domain that this paper creates these figures from is the randomized walk. The randomized walk is a Markov decision process with seven nodes, as it's shown here in this slide. There are two terminal nodes, the very far left and the very far right. And there's only one action that a user can take at any given node. And it stochastically chooses whether to move left or right with an equal probability in both directions. There's only one reward node, and that's the G node at the very right. So the only way that you can get a reward out of this is if you happen to end up at G. So the first figure that we're trying to create is the average error on the random walk problem under repeated representations of 10 sequences until convergence. The root mean square error was averaged over 100 training sets. So the paper is underspecified in a couple of ways here. It doesn't specify what convergence is, and it doesn't specify what a sufficiently small alpha is. There are two input parameters in 2TD lambda, lambda and alpha, the learning rate. And so we believe that the reason why we weren't really able to reproduce the research here is that we either did not use a sufficiently small alpha or we did not run it until convergence. Figure four is the average error on the random walk problem after experiencing 10 sequence at different levels of alpha and different levels of lambda. As you can see, the shapes of these graphs are very similar. Lambda equals 1.0 definitely has the highest error. Lambda equals 0.3 definitely has the lowest error. Uh, the differences here are differences in magnitude, and we can attribute that in differences in training sets. We believe that the Sutton paper had more difficult training sets for TD Lambda to learn. Figure 5 is the average error at the best alpha value on the random walk problem. As you can see, they're similar shapes. The main difference is the difference in magnitude. And we believe that the same reason that there's a difference in figure four, that the training sets used in the Sutton paper were more difficult for the TD Lambda problem. Thank you.